Well, hi, how's it going? Anne Tomito here, owner of Horizon Coaching Solutions, and you're watching What's Cooking Today, the video to watch for a boost of inspiration and confidence in the kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some chicken bone broth right in the Instant Pot. You know, before I had my Instant Pot, I used to simmer my bone broth on the stove top for something crazy like 48 hours or you know, however much time I had to get the best possible broth. I've even been known to cancel some plans because I had a broth sitting on the stove. No more of that nonsense now that I have my Instant Pot and I can get this delicious broth together in you know under a couple of hours and very little hands-on time. So let's get right to it. I'll show you exactly how it's done and how easy it really is. Making this broth couldn't be simpler. To get this started, all you have to do is add the following to the Instant Pot. Here we go, my bone broth is finally ready. It's just kind of been sitting in the pot for a couple of hours while I was getting some things done. And you know, that's totally something you can do when you're making bone broth too. Just set it before you go to bed. It'll run throughout the night. And when you wake up in the morning, it's still going to be nice and warm and perfect time to strain it at that point, which is exactly what we're going to do now. I'm going to carefully take the lid off. And just so I don't make a mess inside my Instant Pot, because if you know me at all, you know I'm going to be making a mess. So I'm just going to remove the lining pan here from inside my Instant Pot, set it on my trusty dish rack, and I'll just move this out of the way. So I brought my broth back over, sitting in the pot, and just because this is still really hot, I'm using some mitts here. Now I have a just a metal uh, colander that I've stuck inside a, an eight cup uh, measuring cup and it's glass. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and ladle some of this broth into the strainer. Now at first you could, it's pretty easy to leave the chunks out, but this you know becomes more important as you're getting further down into the pot. Now what I've learned over the years of doing this is not to fill this cup too full because it will spill over as you're filling your mason jars and so best to just pour a few cups in at a time, fill your mason jar and keep going that way. So a trusty little tool I have is this funnel that fits inside my mason jar and it prevents many messes. So I'll just go ahead, pour this in. And you wanna leave just a little bit of uh, space at the top here, not too much. And then we're going to go ahead and seal these. Perfect fit, you gotta love when that happens.
Now this batch made just under 12 cups of broth, which is pretty great. It's going to be perfect for two soup recipes, or you know, I've packaged them into two cup mason jars because these on their own make a pretty comforting and satisfying snack too, as uh, this bone broth is really high in protein. So 10 to 15 grams of protein per cup of this bone broth and so on its own with a little splash of hot sauce is how I like it is a really great afternoon snack that's going to keep you full and satiated until your next meal. So now that you have this broth you can store it in your fridge for a couple of weeks. You can go ahead make some soup recipes, use some for stews. Um, if you find that you know you still have some left over you're not going to be making a soup within the next couple of days just freeze them in an ice cube tray and then store them in your freezer. And you'll have little two tablespoon uh, amounts of broth that are perfect for sauces or different recipes. Uh, you can even you know, cook your rice or your grains in this bone broth to add some flavor and nutrition to your meal. If you like this recipe and want more fresh recipe inspirations delivered straight to your email inbox every single Friday morning, check out my VIP subscription over at horizoncoachingsolutions.com slash VIP to learn all the details. Um, my members receive weeknight dinner meal plans and access to monthly group coaching calls so that you can have the support and accountability you need to reach your health goals. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next week on What's Cooking Today.